So, um, what are your uh, guys' names? I'm Scott Rappaport. I'm Michael Mantello. And uh, what are you guys uh, making for we're, VR Quest? We're making an, we're making a Mars Quest, it's where you have to go on Mars and solve puzzles to find the Martian lab. Oh wow, that's you, great. You are the first astronauts to discover Mars, so you land on Mars, but then you have to discover the secret entrance to the Martian society, and puzzles along the way help you find the entrance. That's very good. How did you, um, the, I know you guys research like everybody else, but how did you come up with the games, uh, the outcome? You know, why did you guys decide that you were going to go to Mars and, and do this particular game by solving puzzles? I actually am the one who decided on the puzzles. I thought that puzzles would be helpful because they're, one, they're challenging and, and it wouldn't be like really extremely easy to get to the end. And two, they are helpful because they can give you clues like Michael said. Oh, they give you clues. Very, very good. So what else? Did you guys work as a team together? Yes, yes. definitely. And and how do you how do you feel working as a team makes your game better? Because um, you don't have one person's ideas, you have the collaborative ideas, so it helps you add your, to your game. We get to share thoughts and ideas and we we t together we use our imagination to Come up with a wonderful world. Great. What, what do you think, in, in just a few sentences, what do you think you learned doing uh, VR Quest? Um, well, we learned a lot about Mars, and we learned that working as a team is better than working by yourself, and that teamwork makes everything work better. And how about you? Um, we actually learned a lot of fascinating facts about Mars, the landscape, and NASA, and we decided that that's why we wanted to create a VR Quest. And it really helped us learn a lot. You guys look forward to putting on the headset? Yes. yes. <laughs> okay, thank you. You're welcome. Figure out how to make elevators go floor to floor? Yeah. Okay. And what's your name? Nicholas. Hi, Nick. What grade are you in? Second. And what are you making with VR Quest? I'm, I'm, ju I'm doing what she's doing. Oh, so you're working with her as a team? Yeah. And what is your name, sir? Um, my name is Wyatt Richardson. And who's your partner? Um... Are well, you working by yourself today? I'm working with her. Oh, and what's your name? Sophia. Hi, Sophia. So what are you guys making today? We're making... Well, we're all in a group. Oh, the three of you? Yeah. The four of us. The four of us? Oh, okay. I didn't know that it was four of you. Yeah. We're doing the scavenger hunt. Uh, and we have to find these, like, five globes. Mm -hmm. And it's, like, kind of like a maze. Okay, great. Let's see what you got there. The world's going. Enter, enter. Okay, okay. Hi, my name is Cameron Banjani. And I'm Dante Aquatico. And we're making a game. It's we're on we're in a space station and an astronaut's gonna say, You must go into Mars and find all the gold in the maze. And that basically is the main point. Because um the humans are going to Mars to see what kind of land there is, how the, what it's formed, what minerals are there. So when they go to find the minerals, they see a maze near their space station. So they send an astronaut to go through, and to get out of the maze, you have to find all the gold, and once you find all the gold, a door will open, and when you go through the door, you'll see a, a Martian castle, how did you decide, how did you make it so when you collected the gold that the door would open? Well, we didn't do it yet right. because we still have to build the maze. Right. But once we finish building the maze, we're going to spread out the gold everywhere. And uh, we're going to have, well, and we're not really sure yet how to get the gold to open the door. Then how are you going to find out? We're going to ask Mr. Black. <laughs> You're going to read the manual. <laughs>
So, uh, anything else that people should know about VR Quest? Um, it's awesome. It's awesome. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Hi, uh, ladies. What are your names? I'm Elena. I'm Ella. And what are you creating with VR Quest? We're, we're doing a like, like, um, scavenger hunt with a, with a dome. I picked an alien globe, and when you walk into the alien globe, you'll like pick it up. Mm -hmm. And that's one of like the things for the scavenger hunt. Okay, good. Did you like VR Quest? What did you like about it? Um, I like that you get, get to create your own game. That first person game creator is awesome because you can add like from from like a key to a locked door to, to almost anything you want. How do you guys like the first person game creator software? Um, I think I think it's really easy. Yes. All you really have to do is put in your game and then press build and then it's done. Right. I'm it's like, very simple to actually generate your world. Like, if you want whatever you want to put in, there's a whole inventory with, and all various objects, floors, and so whatever you want to put in your game, chances are it's going to be there. Great. How about you? How do you like the software? I think it's awesome. <laughs> Three, Stooges. Three Stooges. Very good. So, who are the? Are you? What are your Stooges' names here? What is your name? Joseph. And yours? Andrew. Andrew, and yours? Christian. Are you guys working as a team? Yes. yes. Talk a little louder. What are you guys making? Well, um, we're making a couple. We're making a couple of levels, and it's like on Mars. So you need to find all the. You need to get through all the mazes, and then you need to find keys to open the doors to elevators, and then you get to different levels. Are you making this all yourself with your team here? Uh, yeah. How do you guys like VR Quest? It's really fun. What are you doing today? We're, we're gonna work on um, the mazes and try to like we like we just put a key inside of it mm -hmm. and um, we're trying to get it to go. Basically. What are you doing now? You're rendering it, isn't that what you're yeah. doing to see what it looks like? Yeah. Okay. What are you? Uh, what are your names, girls? My name is Sophia. And my name is Emily. Just talk a little louder. We're, we're, we're both making a game about Mars, but our games are a little different. In my game, you have to find like these five different items. And in my game, that you have you have you have to go to Mars and find out what you're supposed to do in Mars. How did you learn about Mars? We had to do research, and I looked at I read different pieces and I looked at different pictures of like certain spots. Did you I, go on the internet to learn? Yes. And did you I go did to the VR Quest website? Yeah. yeah. Was it easy to use? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so what do you is there gonna be a final completion of your game? Um yeah. There. You know when you guys are gonna be finished? I think um, me and my partner we're gonna be finished soon, mm -hmm. but I don't know exactly when. Okay. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna be finished like 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 tomorrow. <laughs> okay, very good. Thank you. So, uh, what, I know you guys have uh, worked in the other class. What are you guys doing today? Um, today, we're trying to finish up building our world, and we're also trying to add voiceovers to our characters. If we add voiceover to our characters, when we give the game to someone else to try it out after it's finished, then we can actually tell them exactly the goal and the purpose and what they have to do in the game. Okay. Like directions. Are you going to show this to everybody at the open house? Yes. Okay. I can't wait. So what do you think of the headset? I think it's cool. It's cool? Yeah. It lets you see it like, in a different way. You feel like you're inside? Uh-huh. What do you think of the game? Cool.